Off-duty police officers were in the right place at the right time last night, arresting an alleged drunk driver who left a trail of destruction along Stirling Street in the city. El Mineros is there this morning. El, incredibly, no one was hurt. Tim, it's an absolute miracle that nobody was seriously injured in this terrible alleged drink driving crash that happened at around 10.30 last night. Now, what we know is that this alleged drink driver was travelling along Stirling Street in the city when he's lost control going through the roundabout and he's then smashed into the steel barrier. Now, as you can see, all that's left here this morning is the crumpled barrier. He was travelling at high speeds and he had quite a lot of speed behind him. Uh, the barrier has actually actually being torn completely off its foundations. Now then the car then spun out of control and smashed into this apartment. We're actually standing in uh, the balcony area of this apartment right now and a piece of the steel barrier was flung into Colleen Tui's window. As you can see, the glass has actually stopped it from going straight through, which was very lucky for Colleen because she was sitting right there watching TV after she had attended a barbecue. Take a listen to what she had to say. A metre? Yeah, at, at head level, it would have come straight through and, and hit me. If I'd been out here having my dinner, which I do on occasions, yeah, it, I would have been um, certainly injured, probably quite seriously. They were going real fast, it didn't slow down at all, they just took up the whole barrier. The whole barrier normally goes all the way around the corner and it was literally wrapped around the car when it come to a stop. Now, Tim, it was a case of being in the right place at the right time for three off-duty police officers who were actually having dinner at the restaurant just across the road called Bricker. They saw what had happened, Im immediately ran over and performed a citizen's arrest on the 24-year-old man. And as you can see in those pictures showing right now, the 24-year-old man has now been charged. Back to you.